welcome to the practical sessions of electrical circuits so today here we are going to see the practical of uh, speed control of dc motor using armature voltage control method as well as field current control method so for this practical what apparatus are needed that we will see the first thing is we are having a dc shunt motor uh, it is having specification that it is a 5 horsepower motor it is operating on 230 volt dc and of power rating that is of 3.5 kva and uh, two rheostats and a dc ammeter as well as a dc voltmeter as we know this uh, dc shunt motor it consists of a field winding as well as armature winding so you can see over here this is the dc supply this is the dc shunt motor's field winding and this is the armature and this is the starter this is a three point starter which is used you can see this is one rheostat which is of uh, 750 ohm and this is the another motor which is having resistance of 300 ohm and its current rating is 4 ampere so from the starter you can see this l the it is connected to uh, the dc supply and from the surface uh, terminal of starter it, uh, we are have connected a volt ammeter from ammeter we have given uh, it to the field winding and the second terminal of field winding is connected to rheostat and the other terminal of rheostat it is to the ground terminal the second thing is uh, this armature uh, it is also connected with uh, voltmeter in between the two armature terminals and the second terminal of armature it is to the rheostat and the second terminal of rheostat it is to the ground the speed of uh, dc motor it is approximately uh, proportional to the armature voltage and it is inversely proportional to the flux per pole so there are two methods of controlling dc motor one is the armature voltage control method and the other one is the flux control method so first we will see the armature voltage control method now let's start the experiment we will make the power supply on and we will make this started on in the field current control method we have kept this volt this uh, rheostat at a fixed position and we have made the voltage constant to 160 volt and now we are going to change the ammeter we have connected uh, in uh, the field terminal so we are going to change the current which is uh, in the field windings with this rheostat so if we change this uh, current here it is getting increased so and this is the side where the current is decreasing now you can see the speed of the motor it is changing so as i am decreasing the current the speed of uh, this motor it has started increasing so in this way we can achieve the speed control with the help of the field flux control method now let's see the second part of this experiment that is armature voltage control method for controlling the speed of dc shunt motor and this we are going to keep the field current to a constant value and then we are going to vary the voltage which is across the armature so we know the armature voltage uh, the speed is dependent on the armature voltage so as we increase the uh, voltage across the armature the speed is going to increase so that we will demonstrate right now now let's start the motor so now we have kept this uh, current across the field at uh, 0.25 amperes and uh, we are going to change the armature voltage so now i am decreasing the armature voltage you can see the speed of the motor has decreased and now if we go on increasing the voltage across armature the speed of motor it increases now we will conclude this experiment with the conclusion that the speed of dc motor it can be controlled by two methods that is armature voltage control method and the other one is the field current control method in field current control method we have seen that as the current it goes on decreasing the speed of motor increases and if we change the voltage across the armature of uh, dc shunt motor that is if we go on changing the increasing the voltage the speed of dc motor it also increases thank you